this point in the game, Turok needs to get into this enemy installation. And one of the things we really focused on with the game is trying to give players the power of choice. So all the areas in Turok have been designed to be approached in numerous different ways. Players can decide to go in guns blazing, or they can rely on their quiet kill weapons to take out we enemies take in more stealthy fashion. So with the knife in particular, we focused on taking a, a, a weapon that's historically been one of the least interesting parts of a first-person shooter and turning it into one of the coolest weapons imaginable. So with the knife, you can pull off spectacular kills against both enemy soldiers and dinosaurs. And the bow is your other quiet kill weapon, which can also be used to take out enemies in a silent stealth manner. So up ahead, I can see that there's a, a chopper who's dropping off more men. I, I want to stay out of their line of sight, so I maintain the advantage of surprise. As I come through here, I can see this is a, a dino nest, so I probably want to go a different way. If I decided to go through that area, I'd probably be attacked by dinosaurs. So here I'm going to climb this ladder and get to a, a higher vantage point so I can survey uh, the ground below and just sort of see what's the best way to approach the enemies. You can see there's a group of enemies that are patrolling this area. And from up here, I can actually use that, that raptor nest that we just saw to my advantage. So I shoot the egg. And sure enough, here comes a raptor, and she looks pretty upset. So one of the elements of the game uh, that we put in there is, is something we call dino luring. And this is where you can use weapons and flares to draw dinosaurs to a particular area. And because dinosaurs are neutral, they're you know, a predatory animal, um, you can use that to your advantage and get them to attack your enemy. So, dinosaurs are obviously a huge part of this game, and we really focused on making the dinosaurs, you know, these intelligent predatory beasts that will hunt you down. And if they do get a hold of you, you know, we wanted to be this incredibly terrifying, visceral experience. So, in fact, we drew a lot of the inspiration for our dinosaurs from horror movies to get that, you know, number one, a unique look to them, but also to really bring that scare factor forward. So every time you're, you're facing one of these things, it, it's, it's just a, a really, really frightening experience. So at this point, obviously, I've blown my cover a bit. I'm no longer going stealth. I've uh, transitioned to more of a run-and-gun style of play. And I'm just going to head into the base here. So that gives you a look at, uh, at some of the quiet kill and dino luring opportunities that are available in the game. Now we're just going to switch over to another section of the game that's a little bit different. So this is uh, a more barren region of the game. This is like a dinosaur hunting ground. And at this point, I'm just trying to get to the other side of this valley and, you know, stay in one piece. So in the game, we have a variety of dinosaurs. Holy crap. Don't let that bastard see you. And he's a carnivore. That's not going to end too well. 